Hello, I'm Ken with Net Discount. Today I'm sharing a PDR and RI on a 21 inch fender dent. I'm going to show you how I got a dent from looking like this to this. Straight away, I'm pointing out the toughest section of the dent. It's what you don't see from the outside until we R&I the bumper and the headlamp. You can see the fender nose is pushed in roughly three quarters of an inch, five inches along the bumper and five, inch, five inches along the headlamp. You can see the fender pigeon toes inward very subtle. The dent continues inward deeper into the headlight. You can easily miss this when images are sent to an email. And you can see there, I'm counting the inches. You have 21 inches of real estate on this fender. In order to line up this fender backside bracket, I had to R&I the bumper and the headlamp. You can see the inner structure is bent out of place. I will need to square it up. I will need to restore the Z shape to 90 degree bends along the frame. You can see the entire nose of the fender is pushed in. This dent, I would classify it more of a structural issue. Secondly, a dent issue. I will use my slide hammer to pull and bulk out the fender. Then I will hammer on dolly the bracket. All the advanced guys know if you don't line things up, the dent will continue to fight you and resist you the entire process. So I'm taking my window wedge arch, I'm pulling on the nose and pushing on the buckle simultaneously to line up that edge. If you find my video to be helpful, hit the sub and notification button, leave a comment. It will inspire me to do more videos. I'm going in with Sal's version of the flat bar, the dent dial. With a leather wide tip, I'm going to line it up on the body line of the dent. I'm going to begin filling out the body line and slowly adding pressure. You can see it's starting to move perfect. I was looking for a breaking point or I was looking for the apex of the crown, but the dent actually moved pretty quick there for me. So I'm gonna continue working the body line and I'll move my light around as I'm doing that. And I'm taking my ball peen hammer, using it as a blending hammer. And I'm using the uh, hammer off dolly technique with a PDR dent tool. And I'm tapping around on the crown. I'm going to be using my leather tip and soft tip tools on this dent. And there I'm going for more crown work and pushing on the dent at the same time. I feel this is the quickest and cleanest way to remove any large damage. So now I'm moving my tool up further, going for more crown work. Pressing and knocking down simultaneously. And now I'm grabbing my soft tip tool. And I'm just in there moving some metal. Just trying to restore that contour of the edge and the body line. I'm 
And then there was some soft, close pushes. Just working up that metal. And I'm gonna be going back and forth. When the dent stops moving, I will switch sides and look for more trap metal and begin pulling more metal. I'm doing some close pushes. I'm doing some perimeter pushes. Bringing up all the metal until it stops moving and I'll knock down some more crown. It's a little back and forth work. You can see my tip in there just moving, working that metal, getting some nice clean pushes. And now you can see my tools up above the, on that body line there. Now I'm going to do some more buckle work, crown work, and I'm going to throttle up and throttle down on that crown. I'm taking down layers. I'm using that neoprene tip. See how that metal's laying down real nice after I got that body line out. And I'm going going in there and doing doing some more cleanup work. Going back and forth each side. I'm finishing up. I'm almost done. I'm getting ready to show you the finished product here. But before I do, I'm going to give you a sneak preview of my next video a 30 inch dent along the edge you can see the s shape in the entire edge of this fender now onto the finished product here you can observe the edges and the lines you can see how everything lines up the bumper line edge the headlamp line edge and I restored the line and the body line. And here is the before. You can see the fender nose is pushed in roughly about three quarters of an inch, five inches along the bumper, five inches along the headlamp. And you can also see here, as I pan down the side, you will see where the entire fender pigeon toes from that point and goes deeper into the headlamp. Using natural reflection, you could read the panel. And you know black cars, they show everything. I'm looking forward to spending more time with you in my next video. If you haven't done so, please hit the sub and notification button and I will see you in a few days. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. Thank you.